Yup, y'all. Hello, my fine friends. Today I have a favorites video. Yep, all the shit I liked in the month of May. Guess what? Guess. Guess it. Can you guess it? I actually have a shit ton of makeup. I've got quite a bit of favorites, and a lot of it is makeup. All of it is makeup except for two fucking things. Can you believe it? A bitch finally has some makeup in my favorites. I can't believe it. I have been using, like, I've been really digging the hair stuff that I've been using lately, so I've just been using, like, the same shit from last month, but I've actually been putting some makeup on my face, so we go do this, do all the makeups. First, I'm going to do the non-makeup stuff. I only have two non-makeup things, and the rest is makeup. Can you believe that? Before we get into the video, though, remember, this is what I do now. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I, I don't remember to do this, but y'all know my brain is mush. Don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay. I got no beef. There's no beef between me and between you. Just watch my videos. You don't have to subscribe. If you don't want me floating up in your feed, just watch them. That's it. Okay, let's do this favorites. First, I'm going to start with the non-makeup things. I have so much makeup things, you guys. So much makeup things. I'm going to start with the non-makeup first. First things first. First things first. I'm the realist. How long has it been since you've heard that joke? It's been a while, hasn't it? Whatever happened to that bitch? What was her name? Izzy, Izzy, Iggy Azalea? Is it Izzy or Iggy? Iggy? What happened to her? She just like fell face to the earth, right? Okay, we're going to talk about favorites. First thing on my favorites are these right here. I know I just did the haul on these, but I've actually had them for a few weeks now. A couple of weeks. Um, it's my chemical peels. Oh my God. Why? Why? Why did I go so long without using these? Like my skin is looking so far good lately. Looking like a fucking stack. It's looking so nice. Like to the point where I feel like, do I need foundation? <laughs> do I? I'm so excited about it because when we go to Florida, I know while we're in Florida, we're going to be doing like a lot of activities and stuff like that. And I'm not going to be wanting to like pile in a bunch of shit on my face. Plus it's Florida. Let's be real. Florida's like hot as dick. So it's going to be super hot, super humid. I'm excited that, you know, this is looking real nice as of late and it's because of this. So if you guys have not jumped on ordering them, order them. I'm basically free promotion for the website. They have no clue who I am, but they're so good. Even if you don't want to, you know, go balls to the wall and do like a physical chemical peel, just get something that has like AHAs in it, like alpha hydroxy acids. I'm telling you, girl, it's worth it. And then the other thing that I have that's not makeup is this Flex Hairspray by Living Proof. Okay, so it's a medium hole hairspray. It looks like this. So I had originally bought this because I was like, I need some hairspray because you guys know I bitch constantly about like curl in my hair. It doesn't hold. My hair doesn't hold a curl for shit. It's awful. I curl it literally within a couple hours. It's gone. No curl. Just straight. It like goes straight and then it goes wink like that. That's what it does. So I was like, let me like try out some hairspray and see if maybe that works. Because, you know, I bitch and bitch and bitch that my hair doesn't hold a curl, but yet I don't use hairspray because I'm a dickhead. So I was like, let me try some hairspray. I know that I really, really like the Living Proof hairspray eons ago, like the one in the gray bottle. I can't remember what it's called. So I wanted to buy that, but I couldn't find it. And I think it's because they have this whole like style lab line going on right now. I think that's why like maybe they got rid of their old hairspray or something like that. I think it was called like control hairspray or something like that. But I really like that. So I was just like, let me try this one because maybe it's the same thing. And like, that one had turned it to this one or something. Let me try it and see. So I tried it. As far as hairspray goes, it wasn't like doing that much. So I I don't know. I was just like sporadically reading the back one day and I saw that it said it was like a heat defense up to 450 degrees. And I was like, am I supposed to use this as like a heat defense or am I supposed to use this as a hairspray? What am I supposed to use this as? So just... On a whim one day, all willy-nilly, I sprayed it on my hair before I curled my hair. And y'all, it is so nice. You guys know, if you watch me, you know that I bitch about I just want a holding heat defender 
that does not make my hair feel crunchy and feel like hairspray. Like I want my hair to still feel soft after I put like a heat defense holding product in it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will say it's not perfect. It's not, it's not ideally what I'm looking for, but it does not, it's not like, I feel like it's better than the, oh, what's that bitch's line? The Jen Atkin line? What is that called? What is that called? Whatever that's called, way. I feel like it's better than the way one. Like, I feel like the way one makes my hair a little bit stiff. Um, it's better than like the Paul Mitchell one, the hot off the press one. Cause I feel like that one makes my hair feel really like hairspray-y feeling. This, at first when you spray it in, it has a really fine mist. See it, see it, see it, super fine. It smells delightful. It smells like, you know, living proof stuff, which IMO smells delightful. So when I first tried this and I first sprayed it in my hair, I was like, oh man, I just fucked up. Cause I sprayed it in my hair and then I felt my hair and I was like, oh, it feels like like I just sprayed hairspray in my hair basically. But the more I brushed it out, the softer it felt. So I started brushing it out more and more and eventually it felt like I had nothing in my hair. Wasn't ideally as soft as I want it to be, but it was still really good. And it like holds a curl in my hair. Y'all, I curled my hair like five hours ago and it's still got a curl in it. And I'm so excited I finally found something. So I just have the baby size obviously because I wasn't gonna spend $30 on the big size and like not fucks with it, you know what I mean? So I just bought the baby one, but I love it so much. Living Proof Style Lab Flex Hairspray in the medium hold is so good. Now, on to the makeup things and stuff. I'm not gonna apologize for the lighting because y'all know I'll be using natural light as of late, but I did just do this up there in my makeup room. So the next video is not all natural light, but this one is. So I'm not gonna apologize for the lighting. Y'all know the deal. It's gonna go in and out. So on to the makeup shit. So the next thing I have is probably gonna come at no surprise, but I've had it for a little bit now. I just haven't included it in favorites because I wanted to use it more. So I got like a really good feel for it. You know what I mean? Especially something like this, which is an eyeshadow palette. So I can see, you know, does the shadow stay on your face or on your eyes? I like to use it with like just using concealer as a primer and using an actual primer as a primer. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to use them for an extended period of time. Obviously it's this, then it Dacia Denona palette right here literally you guys this is the only eyeshadow palette i've been using i have not touched any of my other eyeshadows since i got this when i'm using eyeshadow as of late as i've told you guys i've been like barely putting eyeshadow on just because i'm like super into this like basically what i got going on right now this like super glossy look with you know just bronzer in the crease and like some shimmery shit on my eyes like nothing too extreme i don't know what it is but i've just really really been digging this look lately so i really haven't been fucking with like any type of eyeshadows but when i do it's always this because it's so good yes i have to like pull other eyeshadows out because the only like lighter shimmery color because my makeup style is like light colors on the lid and darker colors in the crease because i have hooded eyes and that's how i do it just ignore my dog he is going crazy right now because the light is reflecting on the mirror from this and uh, uh, please don't have my camera down okay i think he's cool i'm not gonna open this back up you know what it looks like because i don't want the light to reflect on it because he'll like chase it around because he thinks it's a bug or something but anyways what was i saying oh yes the only like really i'm scared to open this because i don't want him to like go fucking crazy the only shimmer shadows in here are like this yellow one and this teal one here so oh sorry i just kicked my camera so for me like to put a lighter shimmery color on the lid and then darker in the crease this doesn't really cater to that so yes i have to pull other shadows out um but i love it i love the shadows they're awesome they blend really well there's not a shit ton of fallout there's a little fallout but not a ton um do i think it's worth 125 dollars or whatever the fuck it was i spent on it i don't i don't think it's worth that much money because it's fucking eyeshadow <laughs> like i don't think they're worth what they cost but i am really glad that i bought it i do like the colors i don't regret buying it and a big reason i don't regret buying it is because for some reason lately i feel like all the palettes that are coming out are like 
so dark and the colors are really pretty and stuff but for me like I like wearing a lot of like lighter colors on my lids and I am that like I'm gonna go with the season ass bitch like I used to not be like I used to do like real dark smoky makeup in the summertime so I didn't give a fuck but lately I've just been like feeling more like pastel -y colors or brighter colors or not necessarily like neon pink and shit like that but just like I don't know like what I got going on today which is just a light like bronzer in my crease and like a shimmery like goldy color on the lid or I just don't feel like the palettes that are coming out lately are like super summer appropriate they feel more like winter fallish to me so that's another reason why I super duper like this because I feel like this palette is like a summer palette. You have like some pastels in here. You have some really nice colors. Again, I don't think it's worth $125. I really don't. I don't think if you are somebody that has to save your coin to go up and get this, you got to save like $20 a paycheck for like a month or two to get this. I don't think it's worth doing all that. You can totally like sub other colors out with this like you can get makeup geek shadows or fuck i think even mac shadows are only like six bucks now so just you know getting single shadows nick shadows stuff like that getting single shadows and like trying to replicate the colors will probably be a little bit more cheaper and just as good makeup geek shadows are just as good as the natasha denona shadows if you ask me um, NYX singles are just as good. So I think if you're somebody that is like, oh my God, is it worth it for me to like save my hard earned money and spend it on? I don't think it is. Depends on the person, obviously. Maybe you do. But for me, I just, I don't. But I'm glad I bought it. I don't regret it. And I do like it. Next up, I have something that I don't have on today. <laughs> I don't have that on today. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't have on today. But there is some stuff that I do have on today that I will tell you about. So... Wet n Wild Brow Kit looks like a dish right here. This is just like super, you know, it's the fucking brow kit. If you guys remember from my full face of Wet n Wild though, I used this like second to darkest color here. Well, lately I've actually been using the darkest color in my brows. Like I said, I don't have it on today, but in my last few videos, that's all I had in my brows. I just put the powder in my brows, put the Wet n Wild brow gel on my brows, and then I'm GTG, good to go. I just really like this. It was super fucking cheap. I just wanted to include it because it's like $5 and you get an array of colors here. So if you're somebody where like, you know, you tend to go lighter in hair color during the summertime or, you know, the sun tends to like lighten your hair or something and you want to go lighter, you can do that. The wax in here is amazing, girl. I kind of wish I would have used it today, but I didn't. But I love this wax. If you want to do like a really like spiky, fluffy brow, this wax is so good for that. And it's got stencils. It's just a good ass kit for freaking $5. It's either $5.99 or $4.99, but it's so good and it's cruelty free. So can't beat that. Next thing I have is another Wet n Wild product. There is, is that? There's like a couple of Wet n Wild products in here, probably because I just did a full face. But this is the Wet n Wild Dewy Face Primer. Dude, this is so freaking good. I don't think it extends the wear of your foundation literally at all. I don't feel like primers extend the wear of your foundation. I just don't, girl. That's just me. That's just my opinion. Maybe you do. I just don't. I don't really fucks with primers. I hate silicone primers. Like, hate them. Loathe them. Hate them with a passion because I feel like they're so dry and crusty and like, they just don't. They just don't. I feel like a silicone primer, you freaking put it on and then you blend it and it's like gone like a pore filling primer like you're putting it in your pores and you're like yeah great my pores look so smooth and then you go and do your makeup and it's like oh my pores look just like they did before i put that primer on now because i just spread it all over my face that's how i feel about silicone ones now regular like hydrating ones i like because it makes your skin hydrated don't think it extends wearing makeup anyways on into why i like this i like this because for what was it like $2.99 or $3.99? My fucking battery's about to die. Um, this looks just like the Becca, um, what is it? Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquids, the Becca, Becca. Why do I always call Becca Becca? The Becca liquids. It looks just 
like those. It's so pretty. It gives your skin such a like pretty glossy. I'm gonna stick it up, up here, up on my collarbones and stuff, do all this. Stick it all up in here. Like, it's so pretty. When you first put this on, because it has, like, just a hair of a tint to it, it, like, almost adds, dare I say, some coverage <laughs> to your face. It's so fucking pretty. And, like, it just makes you look very glowy and bronzy and like I don't know I just like it a lot I'm almost out of it because I use a fuck ton of it um oh wow I didn't know that it says that it's infused with vitamin E oh huh, I did not know that so you get you some vitamin E up in there girl so I, I just think it makes your skin look awesome and because I've been doing chemical peels and um I don't like you know, my scarring and discoloration and stuff like that starting to lift off my face. I feel like I can just put this on and like some mascara and be okay with that. Like it's so good. I like it so much. And it's only like $4. I think it's like $3.99, $4.99, something along the lines of that. The next product I have is yet another Wet n Wild product and it is the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. It looks like a dish right here in this cute little packaging right here. It says new on it, totally not new. Just throwing that out there. But this is a part of their permanent line. They're doing like this whole like cushion thing with Wet n Wild. I think, was it last month? I think it was last month that I included the Wet n Wild cushion foundation. Love that. If that cushion foundation had like a really good SPF in it, I would fucks with that like every day, girl, every day. Cause I would way rather pay like $8.99 for some foundation on my face that I'm wearing every day than the $38 for the It CC cream. Just putting that out there. Anyways, the Wet n Wild Make Cushion Contour, it's basically, what it says it is it's a cushion product uh and it's contour i use a dry beauty blender to apply this i have it on today this is so nice and so pretty like it just blends out so well i always hated cream contours because i just could not blend that shit out like the sticks i feel like you put them on like you do a line here right like what everybody does draw the lines all over your face every stick i have ever ever used in my life other than i think it's the jordana one i feel like i can't blend that line out like i put that line down and it doesn't blend out also a lot of contour sticks are cream to powder i hate cream to powder formulas i feel like they just look really dry and like textury on your skin and i feel like a lot of times the cream to powder formulas are even drier than just like a standalone powder this on the other hand does not dry to a powder finish this is like a cream to cream to cream formula it's like so lightweight and like so light in texture and it just makes you look so glowy and good but it also gives you like definition in your face it's so fucking good it's like three or four dollars i love this so much this is like this and then you know the dewy primer and the cc cream is basically like all i have on my face right now and it's just so good i this little combination of the bronzer the cc cream the dewy primer is just like my fucking face beat lately it's just so fucking nice i don't know if it's just because of the chemical peels it probably is because my skins look a real damn good but it just looks so good like that combination is so so nice i love it dry beauty blender it comes i think it comes with one of those little sponges did it come with sponge i think it did like those little da, 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 sponges i don't fucks with those i just use beauty blender the reason why i use a dry beauty blender though is because i feel like this is such a thin thin formula that if you use a wet beauty blender it tends to like soak it up and when you use a wet beauty blender with it it doesn't go on as opaque it goes on kind of sheer when you use a wet one so um that's why i like to use the dry one so this is amazing it's my theme i love it so much i'm on without a bit so i'm gonna go buy another one i'm like looking down here like do i have any more fucking wet and wild stuff i have so much wet and wild okay i only had three products i'm so dramatic <laughs> Next up is another thing that I have been using like literally almost every day as of late and girl, bringing it back. Guess who back in a motherfucking house with some eyeshadow for your motherfucking mouth. Why am I so stupid? Uh, L'Oreal Infallible. Do you guys remember these? Why is nobody talking about these anymore? These are the fucking whip. 
these back in the day were so hyped up on YouTube. Like everybody was totally hyping these up. Um, oh, who is it? I want to say it's either Giorgio Armani or it's got to be Armani, right? I think it's Armani has a product similar to this or Guerlain or something like that. Um, these are like, I mean, come on. Do you die, girl? Do you die? Look how pretty that is. This was my shit back in the day, like way probably three, four years ago. Like everybody was raving about this on YouTube. It's such a pretty color. It's a dupe for MAC Amber Lights. It's just so pretty and metallic. It stays on your lid all day and they're so nice. I wish they would do like a huge color selection. They do have a pretty good color range in these, but they're all like really dark. Like all the colors, they're more like jewel tones, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The color range of these L'Oreal, L'Oreal, <laughs> the color range of these L'Oreal infallible, um, I think that's all they're called, infallible eyeshadows, are like very jewel toned. I wish they would come out with like a really pretty like champagne color. I have yet to find a champagne color in that line. If you guys know, if there's like one that exists, please let a bitch know. I think these are absolute, absolute dupes for the Tarte, um, what are they called that everybody's talking about right now? The little fucking Tarte pots. What are they called? Beautuber of the year over here. The Tarte, I, I don't know what they're called. You know what I'm talking about though, bitch. Uh, it's going to drive me fucking nuts until I figure it out, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. The tart little pots and the, you know, they're, everybody's talking about them, raving about them. These are absolute dupes for those. Absolute dupes for those. There is a color in the infallible line called, um, what is it called? What is it called? Sunshine or something like that. That's an almost exact dupe for one of the tart ones, but I just wish they would have like a champagne one. Again, if one exists and I don't know about it, please let me know because we got rid of these at work and I'm gonna be real honest, I never look at makeup unless it's at Ulta because I'll get a discount. Next thing I have is what I have on my eyes today, on my lids, and this, I, sh I shouldn't even include this, but I'm including it because I feel like you can find the same product um, via ColourPop. And this is the MAC Must Be Lust Soft Serve Shadow. I'm pretty sure these are not available anymore. I'm not positive. You could try to go on the MAC website and look because I thought it was limited edition, but it may not be. So it's basically just a ColourPop, you know, thing or my thing. Like it's basically just like a color pop shadow. It's that, you know, color poppy type deal, squishy, blah, 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 very sparkly, you know, color pop, color pop, you know what I'm saying. But this color I have been putting on my eyes. It's like very sparkly. Again, the beat that I got on today is basically what I've been doing for like literally the last two weeks, just because I think it looks so good and fresh and natural. And I'm just like very into that, like super glossy editorial like really natural skin really natural eyes fluffy ass brows i have just been fucking with that lately hard so i wanted to include this just because it's my favorite and i've been using it i have another color i can't remember what it's called it's like a really pale gold color i don't remember what it's called but i usually put that on in the inner corner but yo these are so good. So just go get like a color pop one and you know, you'll have the same deal. I think those are more along the lines of the color pop. I think they could just call them like glitter top coats or something like that. Those are like that, but that's like way more expensive. We were just like at the Mac store one day with my friends. I was like, Ooh, what's this? It looks so good. And then I got it home and I was like, why did I just buy color pop? <laughs> Couple more things, three more things on the list. This has totally been in a favorites before, totally been in a favorites before, not gonna lie. However, I am a real person. I can't afford to buy different makeup every day. So just throwing that out there. Like if you're new to my channel, a lot of my favorites are very repetitive because it's shit that I actually use. And I can't afford to go out and spend $300 a week on makeup. So a lot of the stuff that I have is like the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? So this, particular item I started using again because it's summertime. I love using these in the summertime just because like, I'm gonna say it again, I'm into this right here, this real glossy, 
brush editorial gloss glass skin if you will and this is totally achievable with this and this is totally that is totally achievable with this that's what I wanted to say girl uh, this is the Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Stick. These are totally still available. Um, I think she even came out with a couple other colors. This is the color Gilded Honey, which is my favorite one in the summertime. Because it's a gold, you're probably not going to see it or even tell that it's gold. You can see like it on my hand, but not... Like, it looks so much prettier in real life, basically, is what I'm trying to get across. So basically, they're just, you know, highlighting sticks. My thing is, I fucking hate highlighting sticks. I hate cream highlighters because they're always cream to powder. Again, just to reiterate, I hate cream to powder formulas. I feel like they look disgusting on me. I don't like them. This, however, is just a very cream formula. It's like balmy, very balmy, and I love it. I feel like if you're putting on more than just like a super light BB cream and like tapping this on your cheekbones or on your nose or wherever you put your highlighter, um, yes, you're going to have to set it. If you have like, you know, a lot of makeup going on and you go to put this on, yes, it's going to lift your foundation if you just swipe it. Um, yes, you're going to have to set it because it's not going to be cohesive with the rest of your makeup, if that makes sense. But if you're doing like a very natural light look, then you can just tap this on your cheekbones. Sometimes if I don't wear any makeup, which is not often, let's just throw that out there. I wear foundation on the daily. But if I'm just like running to the store or something like that, then a lot of times I'll just throw mascara on and not put anything on my face. This, I will take this in the stick and just bink, 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 bink because it just makes your skin look so glowy and fresh and glossy and editorial glass skin. That's what I fucks with. That's what this does. It does not dry down. So if you're somebody that's oily, you're going to have to powder it. It'd probably make you oily as dick because it's like a balm, basically, just like a colored balm. I want to look into getting some more colors because right now I've got Gilded Honey. I've got Ethereal... I don't know if it's ethereal lights or just ethereal. I think it's just ethereal. And then I've got um, Ballerina, I think it's called. This one's the gold. The ethereal is like a pink with like a gold shift. And then Ballerina is more like a pinky champagne-y kind. So I want to see if she's got some other colors. I know at one time she had come out with like a holographic. I'm so over the holographic shit, girl. I mean, do you feel me on this? Like the hollow, the fucking unicorn the mermaid like just please stop with all of it <laughs> stop i'm so over the hollow shit like i was at work this week and i'm like oh my god more hollow are you serious can we just like dial it back just a little bit just a little bit dial it back with the hollow shit and the reason is because i don't fucking want to wear like purple highlighter on my face i just want it to be like a natural beautiful highlight i don't want purple highlighter all up on my face just just me it's just me moving along though next thing i have is actually something that i have not used in jesus probably i would say a good couple of years and it is eyeshadow primer this is the nyx glitter primer um this is such a good primer the reason why i started using this is because and at, you guys will see like in the next video i post because the next video, again, is going to be like the look that I have on my face. Um, you guys will see why I use this. I put this on because the, what is it, Wet n Wild little cushion thing, I actually use as eyeshadow. And because they're cream products, because I'm using cream on my eyes, and because I'm using like cream products in my crease, I just want to make sure that they stay as long as they can so that's why I started using this just to keep that color down because you know if you are familiar with cream products as y'all know they don't last as long as what um, regular powder products do because it's cream so that's why I started using this and I fucking love it especially like using this and this so good girl and with those Natasha Denona eyeshadows because I did find which I forgot to mention when I mentioned this palette that the shimmery like really metallic shadows in this palette um 
Well, basically just this one. I think this one's the only metallic one in there anyways. This mint frost shadow looks like that right there. Very like metallic and frosty. Uh oh, there goes my dog again. Um, really metallic and frosty. This, because there's a lot of oils in them to make them like really soft and metallic, um, tends to crease on my eyes, especially like right now it's fucking summertime. I live in Ohio. It's like 95 degrees and like all the humid, all the humid. So using an eye primer just kind of helps because my eyeballs be sweating and stuff. I don't really have a problem with my lids being oily. If you guys watch me, then you know, I usually just put concealer and powder on my lids, but with it being summertime, obviously a bitch is sweating because hello, humidity. Uh, so that's why I like to use this, but it's so good. This is like one of the best primers I've ever used. They got rid of it for a while and I was like, what were you thinking? And then it came back. So I was so excited. And this is so good. It's not just for glitter. You could totally just use it as a primer because that's what I do. Finally, the last favorite on the list is this. So I just bought this about a month ago. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I think I mentioned it in like a get ready with me. I may have possibly even included this in a favorites. I don't think so, but y'all know I'm not fucking like super organized and I don't like go back and look at my favorites and like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what have I used this month? This, 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 that's how I pick my favorites. Um, but this I bought probably like a month or two ago. I don't know if you guys know this, but they actually like extended the color range in this, it's the Instant Age Rewind, did I say that? I'm sure you guys already know by just like looking at it, the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasure. They extended their color range. I think they only added like maybe two or three colors because this is the color ivory. Um, I used to use the color fair, but it was so fucking pink and like not light enough, but it was very, very pink. They have like a neutralizer color and a brightening color. I felt like the color fair was like real fucking close to the brightening color because the brightening color is a pink tone um for brightening and the neutralizer is really really nice in the summertime like when i have fake tan on because girl i tend to go a little ham with fake tan not gonna lie like i get real crazy with it i've been pushing myself up to another nationality sometimes so that neutralizer is like a yellow color and it really helps for brightening um, but when I seen they had another color, before I started tanning, I was like, ooh, maybe that'll actually like brighten on me because the fair color doesn't. And it does. It's so fucking nice. I'm telling you guys, like, this is it right here. So it doesn't look that bright until like you blend it out. I know the lighting and stuff like that, you can't really tell, but just trust that this is like brighter. This is the color ivory. Did I say that? I don't remember if I said that. This is the color ivory and it's one shade lighter than what the fair is. So if you will paste the ass bitch like me, you've got something to highlight with. The formula of this concealer is hands down one of my absolute favorite concealer formulas. It looks so good on everybody, especially if you have like you know, 90 year old under eyes like this bitch does right here. This looks so fucking good. It doesn't crease. It doesn't settle in your lines. It's really moisturizing. If you're somebody whose under eyes are like very dry and crepey and crusty, like this one right here, you will love this. I don't know if you guys have tried this. If you haven't and you got some 90 year old under eyes, I would definitely try it out because it's so fucking good. It's my absolute favorite. I know a lot of people a lot of people bitch about the sponge. I fucking like this sponge. I do. I like it. I like the way it goes up on my face. It feels very soft and nice when I've been putting it on. Not the most sanitary if you're doing like, you know, uh, commission work or anything, but just for like your own personal use, I fucking love it. I know it's probably not sanitary to rub it on your face and then put it away and then rub it on your face again without cleaning it. <laughs> I get it, girl. I do. You don't gotta tell me but i love the sponge on it i really do so this i probably will be wearing all summer because it's actually bright enough and it's so good it's one of my favorite formulas so so nice i don't know why more people don't talk about this i get it that it's like an older product and it used to be like all the rage on youtube back in the day but i don't know why it's still not because i've yet to see a concealer that holds a card to this one doesn't last forever but 
I don't care. Most concealers that last a really long time are very drying. And I like this because it's not. It's so good. Speaking of concealers, my one unfavorite. Did you like that segue, did ya? Did ya? This is an unfavorite. It is my only unfavorite of the month. And I fucking hate it. And <laughs> I'm kind of pissed because I feel like time has lapsed for me to take this back. This is the Kevin Aquan... What is this even called? It has the smallest writing ever. Supernatural concealer? No, girl. I do not like this. It's so like, I don't know. It's really thick and I feel like it's like really dry. It When I put it on my hand and I like blend it out, it looks really nice. When I put it on my eyes and I blend it out, I look fucking 90. It is like so cakey and just nasty and I've had um one of you guys tell me like oh you just need the really really like smallest tiniest bit of that I have tried <laughs> like y'all know I always say I don't use the concealer like the beauty gurus like I don't pound it on there and you know what I'm saying like I don't use half a tube under my eyes because it's completely fucking unflattering. I don't have dark circles to cover either, so it's not really necessary for me to be like pounding concealer under my eyes. So I really like have tried with this. I've tried just dink, 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 three little dots, that's it. But for some reason it just cakes up so bad. So because <laughs> the time has lapsed for me to take this back, I think what I'm gonna do is after um, I've done like a few more chemical peels and stuff like that, because when I do chemical peels, the lines under my eyes, in my face, like all my fine lines start to like slowly fade away. So I think once I can get like some of the fine lines under my eyes, like diminished a little bit, I'm gonna try it again. But as for now, if you got any kind of lineage under your eyes, don't girl, just don't. And it was fucking super expensive. I don't know exactly how much it was, but it was really fucking expensive. It was probably like 30 bucks, I would assume. It's Kevin Aquan. My first, first ever Kevin Aquan purchase. And it sucks. I'm so disappointed. So that's uh that's where we're at. That's about it for my favorites. As far as like TV favorites and music, music favorites, I've just been listening to Blind Melon Radio on Pandora. So a lot of Blind Melon, a lot of Sublime, a lot of Cage the Elephant. A lot of, uh, who else do they play on there? Um, let me think. Basic, it's basically like 90s alternative on Pandora. Y'all know that's my shit. That's what I listen to all the time. Nirvana, stuff like that. Um, as far as TV goes, uh, 13 Reasons Why. Um, I feel like, although I liked it, it's kind of an unfavorite. Because that fucking show was so goddamn depressing like I swear I fucking was not right for like a week afterwards it is just so depressing I understand the message and I get it and they're like you know trying to get that stuff out there and as it is um like harmfully true it still is just like every episode I'm like oh my god this is so fucked up like why am I watching this what the fuck like the first season was way better than the second season um I feel like the first season should have been ended at the first season you know what I'm saying that's kind of how I feel about that um other tv I haven't really been watching a ton of tv Westworld's back on so fucking confused girl so confused with Westworld another not a favorite because they have no fucking clue what's going on literally like five episodes in and I still have no clue what's going on what the fuck Westworld the only other tv that I have been watching I haven't really been watching like a shit ton of tv lately just because it's been so fucking nice out we've been doing a lot of like activities and stuff um the only other tv that i've like really been watching habitually is teen mom 2 which is my shit i like teen mom og but i never started watching teen mom og i started at teen mom 2 and i fucking love it did you guys watch it last week oh my god first of all can i just say like, let me just fucking throw this out there. I mean, if y'all don't want to hear me, like, bitch, then go. Those of you who are like, God damn, this is long, because this is going to be fucking hella long. Those of you who don't want to hear me bitch about it, y'all, see ya, peace out, the video's over. I'm done with favorites. I just want to talk about this. 
I seriously, like, okay, from the get-go, Kaylin was, like, my shit, my OG. I had so much, like, mad respect for her because when she had her first son, she was, like, in college. She finished high school. She went to college. She was doing her thing. She refused to get government assistance because she wanted to do it on her own. There is, I mean, that is few and far between to find somebody who's like, I refuse to go on assistance. I can do this on my own, whatever else. I don't want anybody's help. I had mad respect for her from that point on. And she was always my favorite, always my favorite up until probably about two seasons ago. And she started thinking her shit don't stink. I cannot fucking stand her with a passion now. I think she's so cunty. She's so fucking entitled. The funny thing is, is to watch her. If you guys watched the last episode, which this will probably go up on Tuesday or Wednesday, not this past episode, but the episode before that, because I haven't watched this week's episode yet, because I usually watch it in the gym uh, Tuesday night. But if you watched last week's episode, um, so I don't know what the date would be, just last week's episode, girl, not this week's. If you watch last week's episode, she was so fucking cunty and entitled. And the funny thing is, is she gets down on Farah from Teen Mom OG constantly about like how much of a bitch she is, how she's so entitled, this and that. She's literally starting to act just like her. Like I can't even fucking take her. Janelle is just always, God, I can't stand that bitch. I can't stand the sound of her voice. I hate Janelle. But Kaylin, I'm like so disappointed in because I'm like, you were so fucking cool. And now you're not because you think you're too cool. You know what I mean? So other than that, Handmaid's Tale started again. If you haven't watched Handmaid's Tale, bitch, what are you doing with your life? Like it's so fucking good. Started back up again. So I've been watching that. So those basically are my favorite shows right now. Oh, oh, I totally, dude, TV aside, like I totally, before I started filming this was like, oh my God, I have to mention this because it's so good. It's so fucking stupid that it's good. It's so fucking dramatic that it's good. I totally binged all the way up and got caught up with Jersey Shore family vacation. <laughs> oh my God. I love Jersey Shore. I know they're idiots. I don't take them seriously, but like, I'll fucking love Jersey Shore. It's not like I follow them or like, I'm like, oh my God, so fangirling ever Snooki and Jay, wow. Like, I think they're completely ridiculous, but I fucking live for it. I started watching Jersey Shore like from the get go when it first, like very, very first came out. I remember like seeing previews for it at the time that it came out. We didn't have cable. I had to bootleg all the fucking episodes and like we didn't have the best internet at the time either. I just remember like sitting in our old house and like watching like 10 minutes of it and then pausing it and waiting a half an hour for it to buffer and then like watching another 10 minutes then pausing then waiting for it to buffer like i it just brings me back like just watching them is so nostalgic from like the very first time i watched them i fucking love them i think they're hilarious like the funny thing is is like all the motherfuckers are like in their 30s now not one of them has changed a bit like I totally thought oh my god they're gonna be all like kind of calm down like cool because you know Jay Wow and Snooki are moms first of all Polly D's dad like they're all in their 30s they're all in relationships half of them are married it's like I thought they would just like be so different and they are exactly the same and I love it like I was so fucking excited when I heard that was coming on totally forgot about it like I saw a preview of it coming on and then totally forgot about it for literally like three months. And then I don't, I don't even know what I was doing, but I just happened to see like a preview or something of it. I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. And I got on my phone, got on my DirecTV app, watched the fuck out of it all weekend. It's so fucking good. I love it so much. So Jersey Shore family vacation, as fucking stupid as it is, I fucking love that shit. Let me retract just a little bit what I said though. I will say Wow seems like she has changed. She has mellowed down quite a bit, but as for the rest of them, I don't think so. Kids are not married or not, fucking Ron, still the same cheating, misogynistic bastard that he always was. Like, I just fucking eat it up, you guys. I love it so much. I love it. Do you guys watch Jersey Shore? Please tell me you watch it so I don't feel so bad being the only one. Okay, that's it. That's it for my favorites. So 
what were your guys' favorites this month? You knew it was coming. Let a bitch know in the comments below. And I am going to take off and do fucking mom things. Hashtag relatable squad. I'm going to go grocery shopping. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's outro this bitch because I fucking suck at outros. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not. If you don't want to subscribe, just watch my videos. You don't have to subscribe. I ain't got no beef about that. Like I said earlier, me and you's cool. Just watch the videos. So you don't have to subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when my videos go up. So they be showing up in your feed and stuff. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it because that helps me out too. And what's next? <laughs> Follow me on all my church media here and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha. It does like. <sighs> <sighs> Is what? God, I suck. I, 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 I suck. Come on, focus. Am I too close? What's going on? Next, the next. Let's see. Pro, pill, 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 pill. Rectify. Why am I thinking of the word rectify? I don't know what you're I'm looking for. I hate what the worst. Why am I so stupid? Oh my god.